Nikita, and in this video, we'll go over how to resolve holiday structures. So, holiday structures are formed when cells undergo homologous recombination. And so, they have to be resolved in order for the uh, chromosomes to come apart. So what we have here is two depictions of holiday structures, and they're actually equal to one another, but we'll get into that in a second. So the first way to resolve a holiday structure is probably the easiest way, and that is with what's known as the horizontal cut. And the horizontal cut is made across these two strands, this red strand and this black strand. And we make a cut, and then we ligate the, the two ends. So make a cut, and then ligate the two ends. So join the red strand and the black strand. And that's one way to resolve a holiday junction. Now, that is probably the easiest one to visualize. Now, let's go through a shortcut to uh, solve another type of cut, what's known as a vertical cut, as soon as we draw, redraw our holiday junction. So the second cut we can make is what's known as a vertical cut. And that would cut this green strand here and this blue strand here. And the shortcut to this is that you simply take these three prime ends and switch them around. So this uh, blue strand here would become a green strand, and this green strand, or this part of this green strand would be blue. Now, why can we do that? Well, it's hard to visualize on this, but it's easier to visualize it on this structure. So let's get into that. First, how do we know that this is essentially exactly this? Well, let's take a look at the base pairing. Our five prime end of our green strand is next to our three prime end of our red strand. So let's draw that. Five prime end, green, three prime end, red. So five prime and three prime. So we have that. And then our red strand goes and then base pairs to this blue strand. And so we have that just like that here. So our five prime end of our red strand is base pairing to this three prime end of the blue strand. And the five prime end of the blue strand is base paired to the three prime end of the black strand. And of course, the five prime end of the black strand is base paired to the three prime end of the green strand, just as we have it up here. So now, what happens when we want to make a cut in this strand and this strand? Well, let's draw it on this structure. So it's in the middle of this green strand and the, in the middle of this blue strand, in the middle of this green strand and in the middle of this blue strand. Now here, especially when working with pencil and paper, I really like to make a nice big divide as if there's just this wall that cannot be passed when we're erasing things. So now it's time to erase things. And Keep in mind that big divide that we don't want to erase across. So erase part of that red and blue strand, or green and blue strand, and the other side of that green and blue strand. Now, notice I did erase a little bit of my little divider, but that's okay, it's still there. And it helps remind me to join this strand with this strand. So let's do exactly that. 5 prime to 3 prime 
five prime green to three prime blue and three prime green to five prime blue. Uh, there we go. And so what are we left with? We're left with a green strand or a partially green strand. Starts with the three prime green, three prime green. That then goes into a blue strand. That is, that ends with a five prime. And that's attached to our black strand. So that would look like this. And of course, this would be five prime and three prime. Now notice this black strand isn't at all changed because we didn't make any cuts to it. So it just essentially falls back down on this DNA strand. And now let's do these, this top cut here. So we have our three prime end of our blue strand. and our five prime end of our green strand. Five prime, three prime. And that's going to pair with our red strand. So how is this different from just switching these around? Well, it wouldn't be. Let's, let's show that. We can take away this green part here and take away this blue part here and just switch them around. So green and blue. And let's redraw this a little better. So we'll start with our five prime end of our green strand. So five prime green, which goes to blue. And that's going to pair with our red strand. And then we have our five prime blue, going into our three prime green. And that's base paired to our black strand. And so we see here that this structure here is exactly the same as this, only backwards. So this starts with a five prime end. Well, this starts with a three prime end. So if we just flip this around, we would have exactly this structure. And essentially, that's why we can flip these two strands or these, these parts of these strands when we make a vertical cut. So one last thing. What happens if we don't have all these colors available to us? Well, then we use labels. So we can actually use 5 prime G or 5G to signify our 5 prime end of our green strand. And we could do pretty much exactly the same thing for the rest of the colors and prime ends. So 3 prime. Uh, 3 prime end of the black strand would be 3 prime BL 
or BOA. And the three and the five prime end of the blue strand would be five prime BOU. So in this way, we can keep track of what the color and the uh, polarity of each strand is. So I hope this was helpful in helping you figure out how to resolve holiday structures. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.